Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Angela here of course and it's a nice uh, day for a Friday video. I want to thank you all for watching and supporting my channel. You guys really are amazing. Thank you for all the support and encouragement you give me. Um, it's the start of the weekend and it's my birthday weekend and I also wanted to put out this mini journal that I've been working on for a while. Now my thoughts along on this particular mini journal was to have something for Mother's Day. Now I know it's not Mother's Day in the UK but it is Mother's Day, uh, I think it's the 14th of May, the rest of the world. Um, even my own mum, it's Mother's Day for her. So I wanted to put out something that's for mothers, but also not just for mothers, but just for somebody special. When you want to give something for a birthday or just a special thank you or just a because. Because, you know, sometimes we just like to give gifts. Those are the best gifts just because somebody is special. So that's what I've put together for this one. Now, I have um, done a few things a little bit differently and I have um, upped the ante a, a little bit <laughs> as well. So I hope that you're going to enjoy following along. And I'll stop talking now and get to it. Right, as usual, I do a printed kit and I do a digital kit for these mini journals. I've added two extra pages in here. You'll see why in a moment. Um, this is how the printed kit looks. It comes with a, a handmade tag that I make. Um, I write a message on here for you and it's stitched and it's just a little thank you for supporting my shop really. Um, so that's for printed kits. Um, so it comes in this pouch, which is a great uh, storage place for them. And you can put all the bits as you cut them out in here. So that's what I use these all the time. Right. So um, this kit is not 13 pages. They're usually 13. This is 15. So I said you get two extra pages and I'll show you what you get. Now I've put this little... Uh, sentiment onto this front page here because I thought that would make a lovely uh, special message for somebody so I've kept it pretty open and said especially for you so whether you're wanting to make it for a friend or yourself there's nothing like those um, you know gifts that we buy for ourselves um, or, or your mum or anybody really I've put that on there now with the the extra page comes in that I've given you two different cover options, which I thought would make this kit um, even more exciting. So you've got options. So this is the one page um, and I love that. So I've added that. Uh, I've added a couple of other flowers and things. So it's not quite the same as the journal pages. And it's, it's beautifully soft and muted, this kit. Um, and this is my favorite one ever. So that's the one page. Then um, I have put um, something more of a botanical, or well, if that wasn't floral enough, I've used this page as an alternative. So you've got options to do whatever you want. You can have this beautiful garden and animals theme with bees and still got flowers, or you can have the other one that's just flowers. This one doesn't have a sentiment. It does say it's spring, but that's all we have on that one. So you've got two covers to choose from here. Um, I have put in the very subtle lemon lace page and that's the one that you can use to back your ephemera with because you can easily write on here. So I've added that and then this particular page is what's going to back your cover page. All right, so I did actually make one with a, yes, I did. Okay, so for example, here's a cover um, and I've stitched around it. I glue it onto the back of this. All right, so that's what I've done there. Okay, um, so that's that. And then we have the usual pieces in here. So you've got your little uh, folio with the little buttons that you like coin envelope type buttons. You've got this for a belly band. That's another little pocket in there. And then we've got this little bit that goes on the inside right hand cover. I'll show you how it all goes together. I've made one up. This is to make an altered paper clip, two little pockets for, you'll see all these come together, the usual format. Um, this is a half pocket that goes across the two, so it folds on the fold line there. Um, this is the belly band. Then the other page that I've put in here, because I have used um, 
this is a cover I've, I've alternated and given you an extra envelope because you wouldn't want to have an envelope necessarily that matched the cover so what i did here was i have given you three envelopes and you can chop and change these are also great guys um not just for mini journals you've seen me integrate this into a larger journal um, or anything else that you want to do you could make flip outs with these you could do so many things so don't be um, stuck on the idea that it's just for mini journals although mini journals are amazing to to make I mean I love them um, as you've seen <laughs> all right so we've got this little um, envelope I've added a B on there we've got some lovely fussy cut flower clusters so we've done I've added those in here um, I've added some more little bee embellishments and butterflies this particular lady goes on to the um well you're going to see it it goes on here with this folded envelope so that's for that uh, as i said this is similar to the front of the journal so i added a, a third one all right um and that's the third one here's your tabs so you've got an extra cover and an extra envelope in here i've added I've made some extra ephemera bits. Um, you'll have see some bits that you might see in the, my normal ephemera kit, but you know I like to add on separates and add new ones. So I've added a couple here with, I love this masking tape look. Um, you've got a flip up, two pockets, a little bit of washi. Uh, that's another pocket. You'll see it all come together. That's our envelope and our little double page. This one you would double print um, with that lace page on the underside and then we would have um, printed on both sides and the same with the envelope um, we've got our large tags and some more little flowers that i've put together there some little bits of ephemera can't go wrong and the, everything works so well together and it fits i put everything in here i think i had one of these over <laughs> All right, we've got a little envelope. Um, we've got little postcards and tags, three little sentiments in case you wanted to add those. And then I've added some more ephemera on the back here or a couple of new ones here and there. All right, so that's your whole kit, 15 pages. And with the printed kits, I will do them in two packs. Um, so you would get two of these printed out. All right, so that gives you options there to do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, so that's the printed kit. Now I'm going to show you ever so quickly. I'm just going to put that to the top here. I'm sitting on the other side of my desk because the sun is shining there and this seems to be working quite well. <laughs> right, um, so how does it look? Well, this is our little journal. How cute is that? Right, so we have this gorgeous faux silk bow and it's just soft and luscious. I love it. Um, and we've got a little journal, which is quite a little chunky. It looks beautiful. Look at, look at the back and the front. And I mean, who, which mum wouldn't want to receive something like this or a really good friend or special person in your life? Who wouldn't? And why wouldn't you want to have one for yourself? Wait, because this is just... Part B, I've got um, part deluxe coming up in a minute. All right. So um, I've made a double bow because I like to just do that. And then I've used uh, the one cover. Now, I made this journal before I added the little uh, especially for you. So just forgive me here. I also added another flower on here. So I, I just didn't have time to redo it. So that is missing from here and so is that all right so but everything else this is what you get not this all right so we've got that you open it up and you've got your little uh, closure on the side there so that's in there like that so you've got all your ribbon it's a meter and a half of this and then you open this up and just look at all these colors i am oh this is just me to a tea right so you've got your little folio here and it's it's really girly it is really girly those little um coin bits there uh it's all all the linings and everything all part of the kit so you know the the method to put this together because i do the same most times so all the ephemera is backed with a lovely lace um background so there we go that goes in there 
a little pocket and I've added my little bits here. I haven't put any die cuts in here. So for those of you who don't have a die cut machine, you don't have to worry. There, I did look at putting die cuts, but it was enough. So I didn't. I thought the little fussy cuts um, was all you needed. So you can just replicate exactly what I'm doing um, here. Little uh, ephemera piece to go into that pocket there. This is the, the, the lace double pocket that I talked about that goes halfway and right round. Um, got gorgeous ribbons in here. I'll get onto that in a moment and a little tag. Why is the bunny ear not going to the top? Oh, there we go. All right, so we got that there. Turn that over and we've got our lovely little pocket there. And I've put in two pieces into that little pocket. Um, we've got our first large envelope. I used the bunny one here. I've, I've hurt my nail. It's sore. Um, uh, this little envelope and then one of the large tags. I stuck one of the sentiments on there. Birds are singing. So, yeah. And on the other side of that is this. I love that. And I didn't add anything there. I thought it was enough. But you can add anything, any of the birds and, sorry, the butterflies and the bees in here as well. A uh, little sentiment there. And again, another one of our little tags into this pocket. Now, I said to you on the other side, I've printed the, the lemon lace. You can see it underneath there. So it really works so well with the pink. And then these little ephemera bits are in there. Right. I've layered up some lace with the washi there. It looks really pretty. And that's why I say it wasn't necessary to add on any of the little die cuts. Now this, I've added some stamping there. I did this with the Victor, um, what is it called? Victorian velvet. Just used a blossom stamp and I've added my tabs um, over here. In the middle, I've just put in tea stain pages. I've added um, the Observer Book of Wildflowers little pages. I put it here to show you. This is really an old one. And I got this really at a um, charity shop, but it's little pages. So perfect. And I think this is from the 1950s. So yeah, they're perfect for in here. I've added just a few in there. Um, and then the stamping, I've added my little circles to my where I've stitched it in. So we've got all of that over there and I've added some um, parchment paper as well. Okay, all right, so that's there. Then the other side of that page, I've got my little envelope and my altered paper clip. So if I just pull out my envelope here, I've put on some of my fabric ruffle with a little bit of lace and one of these on here and you also printed it with the lemon on the underside. So you've got your little envelope in there so that goes in there so that just fits underneath the altered paper clip and then um, I add a little bit of ribbon there then on the other side we've got our belly band and uh, we've got a little envelope and a little postcard and I have put those in there I think I'm going to put it this way like that and then we've got the other envelope um, that I folded to make a pocket with the other big tag. And this is different. I've, I've changed this up a bit. All right. So um, I do love that. And then on this side, we've got the other side of that envelope. We've got the other side of the screen with a little bit of layers here. I love all the layers that was created here. And we've got two little bits of ephemera love the house and another little tag in there so all of this is in the the kit and you've got another two bits of ephemera lots of ephemera in here little fussy cut so we got the two different types and then this is the back page as I said that folds with the lady added some lace and a sentiment and then I have filled it with um, the rest of the ephemera that needed to go in there so yeah these are two new ones that I did and then some more bits in here love that one right so 
that's our little journal all right so i'm sure you can think of lots of people's birthdays christmases you know all those lovely um holidays or celebrations that you want to spoil somebody or just yourself because there's nothing wrong with that okay as if that wasn't enough because it's mother's day and you're doing this for a special occasion i wanted to to take it up a notch and do something else and i can tell you that <laughs> the other day i woke up with a start have you ever done that in the morning and i just had this idea and i jumped out of bed this is like seven in the morning and i just got up and i had this idea um, immediately and I just decided right I'm going to see if I can do that quickly and I did and I'm here to share it with you today so let me just sort this bow out quickly so that I can take you through to the next step so sorry about the anticipation right so it's not perfect but it's going to do so what I did was I wanted to make this gifty even more gifty than it isn't uh, than it is already so what I did was I went and I made myself a pouch. Look at that. A fully lined pouch. Now, um, for those of you who don't sew, I want to tell you that this is extremely easy to make. And I'm going to do a little tutorial on Sunday to show you exactly how I made this. All right. And I'll explain in a minute. Right. And I'm very proud of myself because, as you know, I'm useless with magnets, but I have overcome. <laughs> And I have fitted a magnet in here as a closure because I had all this poofy stuff. Now, you could make a, a smaller closure here and put the bow on here if you wanted to. But how gorgeous is this? And if that wasn't enough, it's fully lined. All right. So look at that. It's fully lined with this beautiful Liberty of London fabric, which matches perfectly all right look at those sewing skills <laughs> don't look too close no it's all right and um, so this fits in here perfectly so we just want to push our tag at the back there a bit further down and then uh, you want to get that in there all right so me with the dodge fingernail that i've just broken so that's going to go into the pouch here it's going to go fit your journal perfectly so yeah let's push that in right it is in okay so there we go and then we've got our little um ribbon here just tuck those bits there like that yeah that's in and then you've got your magnet to hold it closed and there it is how lovely is that all right so it's closed now look i got that perfectly right and i'll show you that in a moment so there we go how amazing is that wouldn't that make a lovely present for a mom or somebody special a birthday gift and you know it didn't take me much time at all you can do this in one day the the journal and the pouch you have a few people on your list that you want to make something special for Think about something like this. There's nothing like a handmade gift. All right, so I'm going to put that just to the side there as well. And I want to just share with you very quickly. Okay, Angelo, you're going to make the pouch. So where's all the stuff? I have come prepared. All right. Oh, yes, I wanted to say you, you could not put those daisies on there. You could. These are prima flowers that I had. You could actually really shabby chic it up and, you know, put flowers on there if you wanted to. And I mean, that looks lovely as well. Here's a pink, you know, as many as you want. All right. So you could do that <laughs> if you wanted to. But it, those, um, I just happen to have those. They're old. Right. So what have I got? Yes, I've got some stuff for you here. So the first thing is. I've put together the ribbon and lace that I used um, in this journal. All right. So there's your closure on all of these. Pretty much that's the edge. I've pretty much used most of these in this journal. So um, that is what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13 different ones so you've got 13 and a half meters of ribbon here all right so that will be a smaller bundle than the one i did before 
um, but this is to do with your mini journal and you could make um, except for the closure you you'll have some over as well I'm sure so you could do more than one all right so that's the ribbon now I've put everything on on together here so let me just move this out of the way then the next thing is I'm going to do a um, little pouch bundle all right so you've got the lace uh, the lovely Gapure with hearts for ma for love, you know, and Mother's Day and everything. I'm putting in those three little, I'm running short of these, so I'm putting three in for this. All right, that's your little freebie there. And then I've also put in these magnets, which are really amazing for people like me who are useless <laughs> putting in magnets. These are fantastic. Now you don't take them out of these little pouches. What I did was, you can stitch around them, but I didn't want stitch lines. So I just used my Fabri-Tac. I put Fabri-Tac on all the area around the magnet. Don't go over the magnet. This little magnet's in this pouch and you just need to find which bit fits with what. So those two need to go together and then that's how you put them into your pouch. All right, so, and they're strong. So you want to put them under one layer of fabric. So I will show you when I make this. So you have this one there, that one there, and they go like that. So it's really easy. You're just going to glue it in onto the fabric with your fabric tack or fabric glue. All right, so that's that. That comes with you, with your, your bundle, your three daisies, your two pieces of lace. And then I have um, measured out and cut. So this is ready cut to size. As you're going to make it you don't need to do anything I've put, put together your lining piece which is this it's 12 inches by 9 inches I think that is yeah it's 31 centimeters about by 23 all right so that's your Liberty of London fabric which is amazing and it works so well with this and then what I've done here is this is um, a piece that I've cut and there we go um this is 18 inches by nine inches all right so these two are both the same width uh well this one isn't but it will be when i cut it um all right so they'll both be nine inches but this is 12 and this is 18 because you have this little bit of an overlay there all right so that's what I've done there. So you've got a pouch bundle, you've got a ribbon bundle, and I'm going to do a complete bundle, a complete mini journal bundle. So in your complete mini journal bundle, you get your fabrics for your pouch, um, your lace, your daisies, and your magnet, as well as all your ribbons, all right? All your ribbons, which will be wrapped beautifully in a bag. Um, and that will be your complete bundle for this mini journal project. Okay, how does that sound? Let me know what you think. Okay, so I am going to do this as a pre-order. I want to send these out um, next Wednesday and Thursday. That's my plan. So by the end of next week, I want them out and Royal Mail is doing really well and you're getting them in about a week. And as I say, you only need a, a day really um, to put it together, but you can spread that out over your own time, availability, etc. So it's really quick to do. So that's my plan. All right. So you will see this as a pre-order, but that's just because I want to get the numbers together so that I can put it all together and send it out. All right. So please let me know um, what you think. And um, hopefully you um, you like these as well. Um, and I, I think that these are going to make beautiful gifts for people. I really do for those special people in your life. I really do. Okay, everyone, um, that's my little video for today. So you've got lots to keep you busy and think about. Um, have a fantastic week, uh, a weekend, of course. <laughs> um, and I will see you on Sunday with a little video on how I make this pouch. Uh, I've got a really easy way to do that. I had two different ways. Um, but I will share the one way with, or maybe both ways, because so, it's you can then choose what suits you. Now remember, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can actually sew it by hand. It's it's that easy. 
All right. Okay, thanks so much for your encouragement and, and support, everybody. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye.